Hey guys, we're learning here on behalf of the next Double Ritz Special Hero Spawner. So let's just quickly go over them. I'll talk about if you can get them back, get them at any point later in the year. Which there's two right now, so there's two here, so you should be good. So we have, I guess we'll call this Desert Siege, Desert Do Lindy? Because it was the, yeah, it was the Siege of Kadan stuff, so yeah. And the Harmonized Skill, I'm sorry, is Resident Blade, Dodge, and Colon Charge plus one. Per attack during combat, two allies. But the same title as them, and they are, of course, uh, Free System 76 and Mystery of the Emblem. Resident Blade is an attack speed plus four during combat, and Dodge is a day speed to foe. Reduce damage by difference of the stats, it's going no Roker because the Roker is a post battle effect. Times four up to 40%, so if they speed them. So 10, 10 speech matches number. As this one, Harmony skill can only be used, it's a once per map one. So, yep. Uh, Celestial Globe, it's that special tr trigger, so we're going to come minus one. At start turn, if they are in two speeds of an ally. They grant they cannot be slowed by terrain. It doesn't imply to you impossible terrain, so for example, you can't pass C. Yeah, can't pass the C. But, forces, or forces, but other stuff, other things are fine. Should be add no follow up to both for an ally in two speeds of her for one turn. Oh, damn, sorry, for damn. Because this is a Duyan for them for one turn. If they need to combat or two speeds of an ally, attacks speed of my plus five to them during combat. Deals damage equal to 20% of their speed. This also includes when dealing damage with special triggers before combat, so things like Blazing Wind can still go free. Arm reduced damage by foes non special reduced damage by X percent, by 50%. So it's just halves basically the non special reduction skills. And says here, for example, it was a 45, it's 23, so it rounds up. And no follow up stay out to speed the foe, then their follow up attack is guaranteed. And well, it neutralizes effects that prevents them, basically. Luna, what, two charge fangs of the weapon, choose foes, defense, and red to by 50% during combat. Respiro, if they initiate combat, attack speed plus 7, arm reduced damage by foes, first attack by 30% at the start during combat. Speed, Red Spar Chance 3, you know, it was count to remaining, and speed uh, and resistance of the foe is, is reduced by 3. And Kanto just busy means after combat and assist skill. Sorry, after they attack, assist, or structure destruction, they can move again. In this case, it's whatever their space is supposed to remaining. So, for example, they move twice and destroy it, then attack, they can move once. Or if they move, say, if they didn't move at all, they can move three times. Uh, of course, kind of warp and stuff like that, and standard room rules apply. Defense rest smoke free. At the combat, defense rest minus 7 on the target and foes and teases off that target for next action. Attack plus 6 to them and Pathfinder for one turn. So both, sorry, both them and allies in two spaces for one turn and then also grants Pathfinder to them. And Pathfinder just means if an ally moves kind of through them, it counts as zero spaces. And so, okay. So, oh, we're not the bad, you know? Then we have Ninja Camilla, Flowery Scroll. A cell is special trigger, so come minus one again. Attack, she gets attacked, def sorry, defense rest plus five, but she loses its speed, and she strikes twice, even if phone needs to combat, she still does it. And if phone needs to combat, and she outbraces the foe, she can counterattack before the foe can get their first strike in. So a little advantage in there as well. Glimmer is just boost damage by 50%. It's basic. Close salvo, she has basically close counter, and it's our combat if HP is 25% or above. Attack plus 5 during combat, but after combat, if she attacks, she takes 5 damage. Seal res 4, res minus 4 on the foe during combat. And if no effect to neutralize penalty on foes res. Sorry, and if no effect neutralizes penalties on foes res. It fixed penalties on penalty on the foes res during combat equals to 7, minus a current penalty on that foes res. Minimum 0. If a penalty is active on the foes res. Inflicts colon charge minus one on the foe per attack, has my special inside, and then fixed res minus seven on the foe for the next action of the combat. Quite a lot. And then attack res hold free. Sorry, attack res hold. Attack res minus four and foes in free spaces during combat. Okay. Then we have Duo Sophis, and you if you don't get her now, don't worry, you can get her like in a few months' time and how long after Duo Skull is no follow-up. Two both them and the uh, so in two spaces. If they are allies, when two spaces have to call and create a maximum value, call and minus one. 
on turn all number turns. If they've used it, they can use it. If they've already used their dual skill, they can use it again. I will talk about no follow already. Area scripture. And style special triggers, so minus one. And initial effects the gun triangle bonuses, so Fox Shield Snow Country screw her over. Screen over. She has this encounter built in, so kind of her progressive full range. If phone is combat, order HP is 75% or above. As start combat. Attack speed defense plus plus five. During combat, on the foes rises two. Deals damage equal to the lower deals damage to the lower of the foes defense or res. So I calculate damage. Series is one charge, trains the weapon. Boost damage by 30% of her speed, of their speed, sorry. And then heals equal damage equal to 30% of the damage dealt. Then attack speed solo 4. If they're not just an ally, attack speed plus 4. And Simon, sorry, during combat. Check them off. If phone news come up, reduce times by foes first attack by 20%. And then if they outres the foes, if their attack outbeats the foes res, the first attack deals damage equal to 20% of their attack minus the foes res. And then attack speed being free, attack speed minus form foes when two speeds during combat. So yeah. Then we have. Uh, Kazan Bailuf. He's he'd be a four star, I'm guessing. Uh, guides Arglass, a South Spell Trigger. At start turn, even two speeds of an ally. He gets the uh, cannot be slowed by turning effect. Uh, on dodge for one turn, before recovery on array. If he initiates combat with ores and two speeds of an ally, attack speed defense just plus five to him. And there's the effect that grants colon charge plus X on foe, or man on flex minus X on him. And during combat, and if he's in two speeds of an ally, attack speed, defense, res, minus four to those allies during combat. So, yeah, if he's in two speeds of an ally, then they get buffed. Here's Sublime Heaven, which is a one charge. Boost times by 25% of his attack. If against a comp, if against a beast or dragon, it's 50% instead of 25. And then disables non special skills, reduce times by X percent. Then speed res finish, if he's in two speeds of an ally. Speed res plus 6 during combat, and also if his special is ready or triggers before during this combat, deals 5 more damage. Except with area dealing damage or area specials. And then low speed res 3, speed res minus in the full, and just bonuses from skills like fortify, rally, etc. to those who stats during combat. Then we have Valentine's Leo, so you won't be able to get him for like a year. Dust Blame Bow, a Salad Special here. So coming minus one. Attack against power foes. It's a bow. At the start of a player phase or enemy phase, if any foe in the corner direction of him has less rest than him, inflicts defense rest minus seven and gravity on those foes for next action. If he needs to come out or two speeds of an ally, attack speed defense rest plus five to him. Attack speed defense rest plus five to him during combat. Where was I? So, yeah, he needs to come out over in two spaces now, sorry. During combat, and the following effects will occur based on the value of his res minus his res. If this more than one, he's guaranteed a follow attack. More than four, deal sounds equal to 20% of his res. More than seven, so equal or more, sorry, these are equal or more. If in, and if he needs his combat, then uh, initial effects of defense his follow attack. I'm doing seven foes first attack by 30%. There's a lot, and I think I missed res something, so there's a lot. Iceberg, two charge fangs of weapon. Boost time to 50% of his res. Think then we have remote mirror. If he needs to combat, attack plus 7, res plus 10. These dudes during combat, I'm reduced damage by foe's first attack by 30%. Resist damage by foe's first attack, sorry. And attack defense, far trans 3, counter remaining. Attack defense, minus 3 on the foe during combat. We we'll covered this dude before, so we need to go over him again. New Year's Elm. Fang of fin Finality. Assassin's Triggers will command to one. If he needs combat or is not adjacent to an ally, attack speed plus six to him. Neutralize effects of defense's follow attack. And deal damage equal to X of his X percent of his speed. And X is the number of foes within free space of the target, including the target times ten. And that's all during combat. Exclaim your specials, max 30%. And then reduce damage foes. Reduce damage from attacks during combat and their effect special. Oh, sorry, and reduce damage from attacks during combat or effect specials. Exclaim Roker. 5% is equal to the number of foe. By the number of foes in free space target, including target times 20, max 60. 
So a little bit of damage reduction there. Then it's our turn. If he, uh, once he, oh, if he transforms, basically, uh, he can move one space and have two attack. And transformation decision are if he's alone or if he's near dragon or beast allies without any like non of those types. It has to be only dragon or beast. Luna, choose two charge flank weapon, choose full defense and red by 50%. But they have beast and transfer A. Enables Kanto remaining plus one. And removes the condition of the transform, so he's guaranteed transformation every time. And then we covered that the Kanto's in this time is just whatever we have remaining plus one. And colors free free. If if in combat against colors foe, disables all skills of foes, excluding the foe during combat. And it fixes attack to speed defense for man's four on the foe. Otherwise, during combat, disables skills of all colors foes, excluding that foe in combat. So if you're against a colors foe, first effect. If it's not a colors foe, second half. Then we have Valentine's Elite Dual Elise. Dual skill is damage to both them and allies who increase space of them. Defense rest minus seven on the foe who increase rows or free column center of her during of them during next action. And damage is actual damage equal to the total penalties on that foe. We have Dawn Dust Staff, so or sorry, du Dust Dawn Staff, whatever you want to call it. Foe can counter attack. It's also sort of triggers, you know, that thing. Max Cullen can finally connect global one. If the energy combat or when she's an ally, grants attack speed plus six to them. Neutral effects of defensive follow up attack. Gets cooling charge plus one per attack during combat. And after combat, if the attack inflicts a status on the foe. Oh, sorry, on target and foes when two speed target that prevents current attack for the next action. So they basically have full on raffle staff, flash, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Return resource HP equal to 50% of their attack, minimum of eight. To target ally, and target ally moves to the opposite side of them. If an ally doesn't move, they do not gain experience or SP. And they. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. If an ally or opposite side of them, ally will not move. Using skill has no effect on cooling charge, and they get no experience or SP. So, yeah. Then we have Holy Pressure. If an assist skill is used, Unit's cooling coin value does not go down. When special triggers, boost times by 40% up to foes res. Uh, calculate staff, damage from staff. After combat damage is added. And the special triggers in combat infects gravity to target and fo adjacent foes after combat. I should probably point out, I believe their other skill is Miracle. They do have a non special attack skill, which I do believe it's Miracle. I'll have to double check that. Then attack speed catch 4. So our combat, if foes use 100% or penalties active for them. Attack speed plus 7 during combat. If both can do you get an additional plus 2 for net bonus of 9. Poetic Justice, it's a it's raffle staff, so it's calculate damage like on your weapon. Speed minus 4 on the foe during combat. And deal damage equal to 15% of the foe's attack. If the calculate if the raffle part is neutralized, then damage from staff is calculated after comp the damage is added. And then over coverage during all number turns. Neutralizes any penalties on allies in two spaces of them. And that's excluding any penalties that were inflicted at the start. And then heals 20 HP to them. <sighs> that's a lot. Then we have Spring Triandra. Nightmare Egg, Speed plus 3, and if skill like Sing or Dance is used, grants full penalty doubler to target and foes in two spaces of target, excluding them. I'm sorry, excluding her. And fix penalties on foes in current direction of her on target. As our combat, if HP is 25% or above, attack speed plus 6 during combat. And full penalty doubler is effects penalty is on the foes attack speed defense res. During combat, equal to any penalties on each of those stats, basically, for your next action. So I think bonus doubler is that flip, flip the script. And it's on the foe and start penalties. And finally, just converts all bonuses into penalties for your next action. Prep for Dream, grants another action to target ally, inflicts attack, speed, defense, rest, plus minus three, and guard on foes and corner direction of both her and target for next action. Cannot be used with ally during a dance, as it is treated as singer dance. And the guard is called the charge minus one per attack. Anyway, Firestorm Dance 3, if a singer skill, is a singer dance skill is used, so Prep for Dream is this one. It was Kanto 1, attack, speed, plus six, and desperation for one turn. And desperation basically just means if they in this combat, they're guaranteed to follow attack for a full encounter. 
It's not knowing they can make a follow attack before the full counter. Other things are covered. And then we'll cover defense rest. We'll cover the skills, so it's just the defense rest version of that. I think you all see why I didn't want to do the double mythic, the remix banners now. Anyway, take your pick. Uh, units you can get later on down the line is you can get Camilla, not Camilla, yeah, Camilla, Sophus, and that's about it. I don't know, best earn summons in the last three of your pick. I'm going for Lindy, but we've never pulled a five star in these banners in any of these videos, so. I don't think we'll get another. We'll get one today. I think that we'll hold the contrition. Uh, and it stays. The contrition stays. Best on your summons on last. I'll see you next time. Bye.